What is going on? It's your boy Yanzo the Don. But you can just call me Yanzo. So, I, in this video, I wanted to share my experience uh, getting a root canal and a dental implant. But first, I thought I'd start off with why I needed uh, those two procedures done. So, I decided to take up Muay Thai. Fifth or sixth session in, um, I get kicked in the face. Um, we were just doing our regular kicks. We do this every session. We've got the pads on our forearms here and just lean over like this and take the kicks. And uh, I've taken this guy's kicks like all the time. You know, we've partnered up with everyone and I don't know what happened. Maybe I was just like leaning forward too much, but I get kicked in the face. Uh, I didn't get knocked out. I was pretty dazed. I quickly sat on the ground and one of the lads was like, oh bro, your tooth fell out. And that's when I, I was uh, frantically feeling around in my mouth with my tongue to see which tooth fell out. So um, this tooth here, that one fell out completely and the one that is missing right now uh, that one shattered in half and um, it was like lower than it was supposed to be and was facing towards the back. And uh, yeah, I couldn't close my mouth properly. Um, so it was also after hours. So um, what I did was I jumped on Facebook. I typed in dentist and just hit up the first two dentists. And, um, yeah, one of them replied, they said they'd send one of their team members to the clinic and for me to meet them there. Uh, so what he did was he numbed me up, a few needles, and, um, the tooth that fell out, he just put it straight back in. Uh, apparently if your tooth falls out, put it in milk or put it in a Container it with your spit in it and if you make it to the dentist in time then they can just put it straight back in and the tooth that was the, to the front tooth that's missing that was um, at the time it was just like pointing down and towards the back he just moved that pushed it back in and he braced the front four teeth together uh, I asked for the brace to be on the inside of the tooth because I had a few weddings to go to and yeah if if you don't have any events to go to I would suggest definitely getting the brace on the outside of the teeth because when I had the teeth when I had the brace on the when you have the brace on the inside of your tooth it might affect your eating like I, I couldn't close my mouth completely because of the brace and yeah that 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 just really sucked, you know, eating, and, yeah. Um, when he put the tooth back in and realigned the front tooth, didn't hurt at all because everything was numb. But then once the numbness wore off, it was, it was a little bit difficult eating. But then about after, after about a week, it was good. I could, I could bite down as far as I could with the brace on and yeah, uh, when he was putting the tooth back in, he did tell me, the dentist did tell me that I might need a root canal for it. So I go back two weeks later and they take an x-ray and the dentist recommends root canal. So we get the root canal done, we book that in. Um, and before the procedure, you know, I was, I was trying to take full advantage of the placebo effect and I, was just, I just kept telling myself, look man, this procedure is going to go quickly it's not going to hurt and you're going to heal up real quick and you're going to feel no pain at all. And that's exactly how it went down. Went in there, the procedure took about an hour and a half. Uh, it, was, it was pretty quick. It was painless. I didn't have to take any painkillers after that. I went straight back to work and I could continue eating and yeah. Um, but now there's been think about almost a month since I've had the root canal the tooth uh, 
has less feeling. Like you, it's difficult to feel what's hot, what's cold, you know, like if you touch it, it's like you can still feel it, but it's harder to feel than with your natural teeth. But it does feel like it's held in place a lot stronger than the rest of my teeth. Um, to, to put the teeth back into place and do the braces, that cost like between seven hundred and eight hundred dollars Australian and then the root canal cost seven fifty I think give or take and then um, yeah the front tooth that's missing right now I I opted for a dental implant I could have gotten a bridge or you know whatever but I wanted to get something more permanent So, so the day comes for the dental implant. Uh, they numb you up, needles hurt a little bit. The needles to the, to the lip and to the front of the gum, they don't hurt too much. Maybe like a 2 out of 10 if I were to rate how painful it was. But then the needle uh, on the top palate of your mouth, maybe like a 3 or a 4. But um, yeah, the, uh, when you get when you get the dental implant, the room is very cold, man. Like, but they do give you a blanket. Um, so once you're numb, you basically just took the the brace off that was holding the tooth next to the other front tooth, and um, you just straight up got the pliers, ripped the tooth out, and then uh, proceeded to take the rest of the teeth out rest of the tooth out and um, so it was split into like two bigger pieces and then a bunch of small fragments as well once he did that he put in uh, cow bone calcium or something in there I think he ended up using like 50 grams or 500 grams I think I think it was like 50 I don't think it was 500 I, all I remember all I remember is that it started with five so they put that um, so they put that uh, the cow calcium in there, and then they put the oh they drill it out first. They drill out the top of your jaw to make space for the titanium screw, and then they put the uh, the cow calcium in there, and then they put the titanium screw in there, and yeah, it was it was pretty painless. I think pain would be like one out of ten when there was about. 20 minutes left I did start to feel a little bit of pain when they were using using the uh, really sharp tools like the needles and like uh, like the, the sharp hook thing like the drilling didn't feel anything but when they started using the sharp hooks and it would stab your gum a little bit I started to feel a bit of pain I let the dentist know and he just numb me up some more and I was fine so once the uh, once the titanium screw is in, they stitch you up, and honest, honestly, the part that felt like it took the longest was removing the teeth because there was lots of little fragments in there, and the stitching. The stitching for some reason just felt like it took forever. But um, yeah, once the stitching was done, it was done. The dentist recommended that I got a two stage, a stage two dental implant because just because my gums were a little bit messed up because I know you, that you can get a stage one where they just remove a tooth and put the screw in and then put the uh, ceramic tooth straight on but um, the reason there's no tooth in there right now is because the gums were my gums needed a fair bit of stitching to uh, get stitched up and the dentist wanted it to heal before we put the temporary denture in. So tomorrow, I actually go in to get the temporary denture put in. And then I wear that for three or four months. And then that's when they put the abutment on and the ceramic tooth. Once the dental implant was put in, uh, the pain afterwards was, I'd still rate it about a one or two. Like I took... I did have painkillers, but and 
it did recommend that you take them like every three, four hours, but I took maybe four within the space of two days and then I just forgot to take them and I was like, eh, I'm fine. And yeah, I was basically fine after that. Uh, the procedure for the dental implant, because it's done in two halves, it, uh, the first half cost $4,200 Australian, and then the next half where they cut the gum to find the screw and put the abutment on and put the ceramic tooth on, that costs, that's going to cost another $4,000. So yeah, it is a little bit pricey, but hey, if you've got the money to do it, uh, do it. And um, honestly, like, it didn't stop me from, like, having a missing tooth at the front didn't stop me from, you know, living life. Like, I still, most of the time I just forgot, you know, people say hi, or like the shopkeeper, or whoever's working, wherever, and they say hi to you, you just smile and say hi back, and then you kind of just forget that you've got a missing tooth. I even went out and had a few drinks with some friends and just didn't really care, and yeah, you kind of just forget. I had to buy a light bulb, and me and the shopkeeper were just having a bit of banter. I walk out, and then I'm like, oh. Uh, like, I honestly forgot that I had a missing tooth, but I don't know. I think everyone will, will handle it a little bit different. But yeah, that was, uh, that's what, that was my experience with uh, the root canal and dental implant. So, hope you found that informative, and... Yeah, thanks for watching.